hello everyone welcome back with another video on artificial intelligence and this video is all about intelligent agent and its environments intelligent agents can be any entity or object like human beings software and machines these agents can make decision based on the input from the environment using its sensors and act on the environment using actuators ai enabled agents collect input from the environment by using sensors like cameras microphones and other sensing devices then the agent performs some real time computation on the input and deliver output using actuators like screens or speakers these agents have ability like real time problem solving error or success rate analysis and information retrieval an intelligent agent perceives its environment via sensors and act rationally upon that environment with its effectors hence an intelligent agent gets percepts one at a time and maps this percepts into actions AI assistants like Alexa, Siri are examples of intelligent agents as they use sensors to perceive a request made by the user and automatically collect data from the internet without the user's help. They can be used to gather information about its perceived environment such as weather and time. So with that let me begin by discussing today's agenda. I am going to begin the session by walking through what is agent. Then we will move on and look at the structure of intelligent agent and what is an intelligent agent. and how it works and that is followed by rational agent after that we will see the piece representation and we will discuss what an agent environment is wherein we will discuss the various types of agent environment in ai and that is followed by characteristics of intelligent agent and the applications of intelligent agents after that we will move on to the last module which is types of intelligent agents So guys there's a lot to cover in this session let's move ahead and take a look at the first topic what is agent agent and environment are two pillars in artificial intelligence our aim is to build intellectual agents and work in an environment if you consider broadly agent is a solution and environment is a problem in simple terms even starter or researcher can understand that agent as a game and environment as a ground before we start let's define few terms which come across in the entire session Perception is a process to interpret, acquire, select and then organize the sensory information that is captured from the real world. For example, human beings have sensory receptors such as touch, taste, smell, sight and hearing. Perception in artificial intelligence is the process of interpreting vision, sounds, smell and touch. Perception helps to build machines or robots that react like humans. Perception is a process to interpret, acquire, select and then organize the sensory information from the physical world to make actions like human. The main difference between AI and robot is that robot makes actions in the real world. To be simple, perception is what an agent see the environment. Sensor is a device which detects a change in environment and sends the information to the other electronic devices. An agent observes its environment through sensors. Actuators are something that control or move things around in a system and these actuators produce an effect in the environment. An effector is a device that affects the environment. Effector can range from legs and wheels to arm and fingers. An actuator is the actual mechanism that enables the effector to execute an action. In the context of AI field an agent is an independent program or entity that interacts with its environment by perceiving its surroundings by our senses then acting through the actuators or effectors agent is a solution to our problem agent needs intelligence that what AI provides to work in environment every agent has to perform its own agent program agent function mapping from percept into action and the below diagram describes this agent program agent function or the operations of an agent agent program runs on some sort of computing devices with physical sensors and actuators and we call this as the architecture now let's see the structure of ai agent an agent is anything which perceives its environment through sensors and act upon that environment through actuators the agent structure can be viewed as agent architecture and agent program These are the terms most associated with agent structure. Architecture is the machinery or platform that executes the agent. The agent program is an implementation of agent function. The agent function is a mathematical function that maps a sequence of perception into action. 
and this function is implemented as an agent program. And this agent program produces function f by executing on the physical architecture. The agent function maps a percept into action and it is represented by the following formula. Therefore, we can say the agent comprises the architecture and a program. Obviously, a program should appropriate for the architecture. Example for program action and architecture is given here. Architecture makes the percepts from the sensors available to the program, runs the program, and feeds the program's action choices to the actuators as they are generated. The agent program runs on the physical architecture to produce F. Now let's discuss agent side concepts. An agent program structure takes the current percept as an input from the sensors and returns an action to the actuators. The agent program takes the current percept as input because nothing more is available from the environment. The agent analyzes the complete history of its percepts using an agent function or an agent program that maps a sequence of percepts into an action. Agent function which takes the entire percept history as input. The agent function maps from percept history to actions. The difference between agent program and agent function is agent program will take the current percept as input whereas the agent function will take the entire percept history. Percept refers to the agent's perceptual input at a given time instance. And the agent's perceptual sequence is the complete history of everything the agent has ever perceived. An agent uses perception of the environment to make decisions about actions to take. Part of an agent taking an action is called an actuator. Now let us consider a simple case of vacuum cleaning agent. There are two tiles, tile A and tile B. The pile of dust could be on any, on both or on neither of the two tiles. Your vacuum cleaner is on one of the tiles and it can sense and clean only one of the tile at a time. The cleaner could move left, move right or clean the tile it rests on. The percept sequence consists of history of percepts the vacuum cleaner senses and an agent function maps each percept of the sequence into an action. The agent function for this vacuum cleaning agent is given here. We need a metric or a rule to measure the performance of an agent in an environment. For example, in this case, we measure the performance of the agent as the number of desirable actions performed by the agent. Suppose if we are designed an another agent with different agent function, then the above might perform undesirable actions. So its performance measure would be low. Performance measure of an agent is a criteria which determines how successful an agent is. Now we have a general idea of what an agent is. Let's discuss on intelligent agent. An intelligent agent are often described schematically as an abstract functional system similar to a computer program. An intelligent agent is a program that can make decisions or perform a service based on its environment, user input and experiences. These programs can be used to gather information on a regular basis or a program scheduled or when prompted by the user in real time. Intelligent agents may also be referred to as a bot. Intelligent agents can be an entity or object like human beings, software, machines. These agents can make decisions based on the input from the environment using its sensors and act on that environment using actuators. AI-enabled agents collect input from the environment by using sensors like cameras, microphones or other sensing devices. Then these agents perform some real-time computation on the input and deliver output using actuators like screens or speakers. These agents have ability like real-time problem solving, error or success rate analysis, and information retrieval. The common characteristics of intelligent agents are adaption based on experience, real-time problem solving, analysis of error or success rates, and use of memory-based storage and retrieval. Intelligent agents can be used for applications in data mining, data analytics, and customer service and support. Consumers can also use intelligent agents to compare the prices of similar products and notify the user when a website update occurs. AI assistants like Alexa, Siri are examples of intelligent agents as they use sensors to perceive a request made by the user and collect data from the internet without user's help. They can also be used to gather information about its perceived environment such as weather and time. Infogate is another example of an intelligent agent which alerts users about news based on specified topic of interest. 
Autonomous vehicles could also be considered as an intelligent agent as they use sensors, GPS and cameras to make reactive decisions based on the environment to maneuver through traffic. An intelligent agent can come in any of the three forms like human agent, robotic agent and software agent. A human agent uses eyes, nose, tongue and other sensory organs as sensors to perceive information from the environment and uses the limbs and vocal tract as actuators to perform an action based on the information. Robotic agents use cameras and infrared radars as sensors to record information from the environment. It uses reflex motors as actuators to deliver output back to the environment. Software agents use keypad strokes and audio command as a sensory input and display screens as actuators. The following are the four main rules for an AI agent. These are the few rules which agents have to follow to be termed as intelligent agent. Rule 1. An AI agent must be able to perceive the environment. That is, the agent must have the capability to perceive information from the environment using its senses. Rule 2. The environmental observation must be used to make decisions. Meaning that the input or the observation collected from the environment should be used to make decisions. Rule 3. The decision should result in action. That is, the decision made from the observation should result in some tangible action. Rule 4. The action taken by an AI agent must be rational. Rational actions are the actions that maximize the performance and yield the best positive outcome. Let's see what a rational agent is. A rational agent is one that can take the right decision in every situation. A rational agent or rational being is a person or entity that always aims to perform optimal actions based on the given premises and information. A rational agent can be a person, firm, machine or software or anything that makes decisions. The concept of rational agent can be found in various disciplines such as artificial intelligence, cognitive science, decision theory, economics, ethics, game theory and the study of practical reason. Artificial intelligence has borrowed the term rational agents from economics to describe autonomous programs that are capable of goal-directed behavior. Today, there is a considerable overlap between AI research, game theory, and decision theory. Rational agents in AI are closely related to intelligent agents, that is, autonomous software programs that display intelligence. An ideal rational agent is the one that is capable of doing expected actions to maximize its performance measure on the basis of its passive sequence and its built-in knowledge base. A rational agent will have a clear preference, model uncertainty and act in the way to maximize its performance measure with all possible actions. And more importantly, we emphasize that the performance is assessed in terms of environment states and not on agent states. Rationality is a status of being reasonable, sensible and having a good sense of judgment. A rationality is concerned with expected action and results depending upon what an agent has perceived. The following are the four factors that the rational agent should depend on any given time. The rationality of an agent can be judged on the basis of the performance measure, the agent's prior knowledge, the actions the agents can perform, the agent's perceptive sequence to date. So the agent's rational behavior depends on the performance measure that defines success, the agent knowledge of the environment, the action that is capable of performing, and the current sequence of perception. A rational agent always performs right action, where right action means the action that causes the agent to be more successful in the given percept sequence. The problem the agent solves is characterized by performance measure, environment, actuators and sensors. The agent receives percepts from the environment and generates a behavior which in turn causes the environment to generate a state history. The performance measure evaluates the state history to arrive at the value of the agent. P stands for Performance Measure, Environment, Actuators and Sensors. There are different types of agents in AI. P system is used to categorize similar agents together. The P system delivers the performance measure with respect to the environment, actuators and sensors of the respective agent. Most of the highest performing agents are rational agents. The rational agent considers all possibilities and chooses to perform the highly efficient action. For example, it chooses the shortest path with low cost for high efficiency. Based on these properties of an agent, they can be grouped together or can be differentiated from each other. 
Performance measures are unit to define the success of an agent. Performance varies with the agents based on their different percepts. Environment is the surrounding of an agent at every instant. It keeps changing with time if agent is set in motion. And there are five major types of environment and we will discuss them as we move ahead. An actuator is a part of an agent that delivers the output of an action to the environment. Sensors are the receptive parts of an agent that takes an input for an agent. Let's see the piece descriptor for the self-driving cars. To design a rational agent, we must specify the task environment. The task environment for an agent is comprised of P's, that is performance measure, environment, actuators, and sensors. For example, consider the task of designing an automated taxi. P's for self-driving car are given here. Safety, optimum speed, and comfortable journey can be the performance measure. An automated system should be able to drive the car safely without dashing anywhere. And it should maintain the optimal speed depending upon the surroundings. Also, it should be able to give a comfortable journey to the end user. Roads and traffic conditions can be the environment. An automated car driver should be able to drive on any kind of roads ranging from city roads to highway. And you will find different sorts of traffic conditions for the different types of roads. Steering wheel, accelerator and gear can be the actuator. Steering wheel is used to direct the car in desired directions. Accelerator and gear is used to increase or decrease the speed of the car. Sensors like cameras, GPS and sonar system will take input from the environment. And here is an another piece descriptor for a rational vacuum cleaner agent. The objective of this rational agent is to clean a room with minimum possible actions. It must ensure that the entire environment is cleaned and the agent is back home, which is the starting location. The piece description of this problem is given here. The performance of an agent can be measured in terms of cleanness and efficiency using metrics like dirt remove, distance travel to clean, battery life, security, continuous hours of work, the lifetime of an agent, efficiency in handling objects, the capacity of the dustbin, etc. The environment is the task environment that consists of the room for cleaning, table, floor, carpet, and different obstacles. Actuators are the tools that facilitate the agent to move through the room and clean the dirt, which includes wheels, different brushes, vacuum extractors, motors, motor controllers, air blowers, etc. Sensors are the medium by which the agent senses the task environment. This includes a camera, dirt detection sensor, cliff sensor, bump sensor, infrared wall sensor. Part picking robot or piece picking robot is a robot that picks up parts or tools and places them in a new location. In case of pick and place robot, number of correct parts in a bin can be the performance measure. The environment for part picking robot would be conveyor belt with parts, bins. And the actuator is a device which causes something to happen. This could be a robot movement which is often achieved using motors. An actuator is needed to make the robot's wheel turn or the joint of a robot arm to rotate. Sensors are the receptive parts of an agent that takes an input for an agent. It could be a camera or a joint angle sensors. Now let's analyze the task environment which are the problems for which the agents are the solutions. Environment is the place where the agent is going to work. In general, environment gives possible rewards, states, actions to the agents. And environment is everything in the world which surrounds an agent. Environment can be described as a situation in which an agent is present. It could be a physical world, real world, or a virtual one. So the environment is where the agent operates. So the task environment is comprised of performance, environment, actuators or actors, and sensors. So the first step in designing an AI agent is to specify the task environment. Some programs operate in the entirely artificial environment confined to keyboard input, database, computer file system, and character output on a screen. In contrast, some software agents or software robots or softbots exist in rich, unlimited software domains. The most famous artificial environment is the Turing test environment in which one real and other artificial agents are tested on equal ground. This is a very challenging environment as it is highly difficult for a software agent to perform as well as as a human. 
The Turing test originally called the imitation game by Alan Turing in 1950. The success of an intelligent behavior of a system can be measured with Turing test. Two persons and a machine to be evaluated participate in the test. Out of the two persons, one play the role of the tester. Each of them sits in the different rooms. The tester is unaware of who is machine and who is a human. He interrogates the question by typing and sending them to both intelligence to which he receives typed responses. This test aims at fooling the tester. If the tester fails to determine the machine response from human response, then the machine is said to be intelligent. There are four main types of agents in artificial intelligence namely simple reflex agent, model based reflex agent, goal based agents and utility based agents. All these can be turned into learning agents. So an agent is anything that takes action according to the information that it gains from the environment. It can be a program, chatbot, robot, car, player or machine. The agent is situated in a given environment. There are several types of environments. Fully observable versus partially observable, static versus dynamic, discrete versus continuous, deterministic versus stochastic, single agent versus multi agent, episodic versus sequential, known versus unknown, accessible versus inaccessible. When designing artificial intelligence solution, we spend a lot of time focusing on aspects such as nature of learning algorithms like supervised unsupervised or semi-supervised or the characteristics of the data like classified or unclassified. But little attention is often provided to the nature of the environment on which the AI solution operates. As it turns out, the characteristics of an environment are the one of the absolutely key elements to determine the right model for an AI solution. There are several aspects that distinguish the AI environments. The shape and frequency of the data, the nature of the problem, the volume of knowledge available at any given time or some of the elements that differentiate one type of AI environment from another. Understanding the characteristics of AI environment is one of the first tasks that AI beginners should focus on. And this will help them to tackle a specific AI problem. From that perspective, there are several categories we use to group AI problems based on the nature of the environment. And now we will discuss them in detail. If we can capture the complete state of the environment relevant to the choice of action of an agent using its senses, then the environment is fully observable. If the environment is not fully observable, then it needs to maintain an internal state to keep track of the world. A fully observable AI environment has access to all required information to complete the target task. Image recognition operates in fully observable domains. The environment could be partially observable not just because of the noise or inaccuracy of the senses, but could be due to the framework of the task itself. Partially observable environments such as the ones encountered in self-driving vehicle scenarios deals with partial information in order to solve AI problems. So if it is possible to determine the complete state of the environment at each time point from the percepts, it is observable, otherwise it is only partially observable. For example, the classic game of chess is fully observable as one agent can perceive the position and moves of the other agent. But in the Kriegspiel version of chess, the game environment is partially observable, meaning that it is unobservable except the invalid moves. If an agent has no sensor at all, then the environment is unobservable. If only one agent participates in the environment, then it is called single agent environment. More than one agent interact with the environment, then it is said to be multi-agent environment. This is one of the easiest way to classify the agent's environment. This is done on the basis of number of agents involved in solving the AI problem. If one agent maximizing its performance over the other agent in the environment, it is called as a competitive multi-agent environment. The partially cooperative multi-agent environment will avoid collusion and maximize the performance measure of all the agents. In multi-agent environment, uncertainty arises purely from the actions of the other agents, whereas in deterministic actions of the other agent is unprotected by any other agent. So an environment is uncertain if it is not fully observable or non-deterministic. If the next state is completely determined by the current state of an agent, then the environment is deterministic. Deterministic AI environment are those on which the outcome can be determined based on a specific state. 
in other words deterministic environments ignore uncertainty otherwise it is stochastic the vacuum world described above is deterministic one while the game of ludo and backgammon is stochastic that is the dice will generate the uncertainty in the environment self driving vehicles are classic example of stochastic ai process most real world ai environments are not deterministic and they can be classified as stochastic non deterministic environment is one in which actions are characterized by their possible outcomes but no probabilities are attached to them whereas stochastic generally implies that uncertainty about outcome is quantified in terms of probabilities non deterministic environment descriptions are usually associated with performance measure that require an agent to succeed for all possible outcome of its actions in an episodic environment agent's experience is divided into atomic episodes in each episode agent receives a percept and then perform a single action next episode does not depend on the actions taken in previous episodes many classification tasks are episodic whereas in sequential ai environment an agent works on the basis of past experiences in order to determine the next best action to be taken to accomplish the goal in sequential environments the current decision could affect all future decisions episodic environments are much simpler than sequential because agent does not need to think ahead a static ai environment work on the basis of knowledge source which do not change frequently over period of time so static environment are easy to handle because the agent need not keep looking at the world while deciding on action nor need to worry about the passage of time if an environment can change while agent is deliberating then we can say that environment is dynamic for that agent otherwise environment is static for example speech analysis is a problem that operates on static ai environments Contrasting with that model, dynamic AI environments such as vision AI systems in drones deal with data sources that change frequently. So dynamic environments are continuously asking the agent what it wants to do. If it has not decided yet, that counts as deciding to do nothing. If the environment itself does not change with the passage of time but the agent's performance score does, then the environment is said to be semi-dynamic. Just with clock as an example of semi-dynamic environments. Discrete AI environments are those on which a finite set of possibilities can drive the final outcome of the task. That is, if the number of percept and action in the environment is limited and distinct, then the environment is said to be discrete. Continuous AI environments rely on unknown and rapidly changing data sources. The game chess is also classified as a discrete AI problem. In the game of chess, a set of definite moves can lead to the system towards its goal. the number of moves made might change but still they are finite in number so chess is an example of discrete ai environments vision systems in drones or self driving cars can operate on continuous ai environments the outcomes for all actions are given then the environment is said to be known if the environment is unknown the agent will have to learn how it works in order to make good decisions and these two are specially refers to the environment itself not to agent These environments are good example of exploitation and exploration which comes in reinforcement learning. If an agent can acquire complete and correct knowledge about the state's environment, it is referred to as an accessible environment. Otherwise, it is referred to as an inaccessible environment. An accessible environment is an empty room whose condition may be characterized by its temperature. That is if the agent's sensory apparatus can have access to the complete state of the environment. then the environment is accessible to that agent an example of an inaccessible environment is information regarding a global incident an intelligent agents have four main characteristics an agent is a computer software system whose characteristics are situatedness autonomy adaptivity and sociability when an agent receives some form of sensory input from its environment and then performs some actions that change its environment in some way then it is called a situatedness In artificial intelligence and cognitive science the term situated refers to an agent which is embedded in an environment the term situated is commonly used to refer robots but some researchers argue that software agents can also be situated if they exist in dynamic environment and if they can manipulate or change through their actions and they can sense or perceive
Examples might include web-based agents which can alter data and trigger processes such as purchase over the internet or virtual reality bots which inhabit and change virtual world such as second life. This agent characteristic means that an agent is able to act without direct intervention from humans or other agents. This type of agent has almost complete control over its action and internal state. This agent characteristic means that it is capable of reacting flexibly to changes within its environment. It is able to accept goal-directed initiatives when appropriate and it is also capable of learning from its own experiences, environment and interaction with others. This type of characteristic means that the agent is capable of interacting in a peer-to-peer -peer manner with other agents and humans. The use of intelligent agents can be seen in every industry sector within the UK and all over the world. The most common and widely used agents are found within two main areas. The first is within office type environment in which computers are used and the second is on World Wide Web. In the first issue, computer software is the main reason for agents being used so widely. Operating systems use agents to add email and dial up networking account, do group management, and add or remove programs and devices, and monitor licenses. Spreadsheet agents offer suggestions for improvement and can also tutor novice users. Software development agents assist in routine activities such as data filtering. The second area is probably the largest in internet. Internet uses a variety of different types of agents to help the users to find what they are looking for. Search engines improve their information retrieval on the internet. Web mastering agents make it easy to manage a website. Web agents improve the user's browsing experiences. Monitoring agents monitor websites or specific themes you are interested in. Shopboards, these agents allow you to compare prices on internet. Virtual assistants include virtual pets and desktop assistants. There are five different types of intelligent agents used in AI. They are defined by their range of capabilities and intelligence level. They are simple reflex agents, model-based reflex agents, goal-based agents, utility-based agents, and learning agents. Each agent program combines particular components in particular way to generate actions. Simple reflex agent is the simplest agent, whereas these agents directly select action from perception and ignoring the perception history. So they choose actions only based on the current percept and their environment is completely observable. These agents work here and now and ignore the past. And they respond using the event condition action rule. Condition action rule is a rule that maps a state or a condition to action. Condition action rule is a connection and it can be defined as processing on the visual input to establish the connection, then it triggers the agent program to action. This connection is called condition action rule. Responses are essentially based on user initiating an event and agent referring to a list of preset rules and pre-programmed outcomes. Schematic diagram of simple reflex agent is given here. An example of simple reflex agent is vacuum cleaner. The vacuum promises to sense dirt and debris on your floors and clean those areas accordingly. This is an example of simple reflex agent that operates on the condition dirty floors to initiate an action vacuuming. The limitations and the problem while designing a simple reflex agent are given here. As I mentioned earlier, these are the basic form of agents and function only in current state. And these agents do not consider the history of perception. And also they have very low intelligence capability as they do not have the ability to store the past state. These type of agents respond to the events based on the predefined rules which are pre-programmed. And they perform well only when the environment is fully observable. So these agents are helpful only in limited number of cases, something like smart thermostat. Simple reflex agents hold a static table from where they fetch all the predefined rules for acting. Model-based agent can track the situation in a partially observable environment. These agents choose their action like reflex agents, but they have a better comprehensive view of the environment. And these agents have a key advantage over simple reflex agents as they consider the history and can work in the environment that is not fully observable. When an agent partially observes the environment, agent needs to keep track of part of the world which it cannot see now. That is, the agent should maintain some sort of internal state which depends on the perception history and unobserved aspects of the current state. 
and this mechanism is given in the diagram. Boosting a model and internal state allow the model to tell about the current state of the world and the internal state to tell about the current state based on the history of perception. It is an advanced version of simple reflex model. Like simple reflex agents, it can also respond to events based on the predefined conditions. On top of that, it can store the internal state that is the past information based on the previous events. Model-based agents update the internal state at each step. These internal states aid agents in handling the partially observable environment. To perform any action, it relies on both internal state and current percept. Model is the knowledge about how the world works. Whether it is implemented in a simple Boolean circuits or in a complete scientific theory is called the model of the world. An agent that uses such model is called model-based agent. Internal state is perception based on current state. Updating the internal state requires two kinds of knowledge to encode in the agent program. And the information is about how the world evolves and how the agent action affects the world. So current state includes old internal state and current percept. The structure of model-based reflex agent is given here. An example of model-based reflex agent is self-steering mobile vision, where it is necessary to check the percept history to fully understand how the world is evolving. As indicated by the name, these type of agents use goals to describe desirable capabilities. It is an extension of model-based agents. They choose the best action from the available options to reach the goal. Goal-based approach is more flexible than reflex agent since the knowledge supporting a decision is explicitly modeled. These agents choose their actions in order to achieve goals. The action taken by these agents depends on the distance from their goal, that is the desired situation. The actions are intended to reduce the distance between the current state and the desired state. These agents need some sort of goal information which describes situations that are desirable. These agents are built on the information that a model-based agent stores with goal information. To make action, these agents do make choices using searching and planning algorithms. Searching and planning are the subfields of AI that achieve the agent's goal. And these agents' behavior can easily be changed in different destinations. The goal-based agent structure is defined here. One drawback of this agent is they do not always select the most optimized path to reach the final goal. And the shortfall can overcome by using utility agent. The action taken by these agents depends on the end objective, so they are called utility agents. Utility agents are used when there are multiple solutions to a problem and the best possible alternative has to be chosen. They act similar to goal-based agents except they offer an extra utility measurement. This measurement rates each possible scenario based on the desired result and selects the action that maximizes the outcome. Rating criteria includes variables such as success probability or number of resources required. Goal-based agents and utility-based agents has many advantages in terms of flexibility and learning. Utility agents make rational decisions when goals are inadequate. And these agents have the ability to trade off different factors before making a decision. For example, a clothing store's goal may be to make a profit on sales but the utility recognized customer satisfaction also need to be considered when perceiving that profit. By setting the utility as real number, for example a scale of 1 to 10 of customer satisfaction, the goal-based agent is capable of desiring real-world scenarios based on utility. A rational utility-based agent chooses the action that maximizes the expected utility of the action's outcome. Learning agents have learning abilities so that they can learn from their past experiences. These type of agents can start from scratch and can acquire significant knowledge from their environment. These agents employ an additional learning element to gradually improve and become more knowledgeable. The learning element uses feedback to decide how the performance element should be gradually changed to show improvement. This process requires the learning agent to have four components. And these components will enable them to learn from their experiences. Critic is a feedback system which describes how well an agent is doing with respect to fixed performance standard. Learning element will learn from experience. It is responsible for making improvements by learning from environment. Performance element which decides the external action that should be taken. Problem generator is a feedback agent that keeps history and makes new suggestions. Therefore, learning agents are able to learn, analyze performance and look for new ways to improve the performance. 
with that note we have come to the end of the session thank you so much for watching see you in next video